as I said through this campaign, um, I really actually wish that this campaign didn't have to happen, that there wasn't a by-election. I'd very much prefer to have Charles Masson still with us today. We lost Charles Masson. Hang on, I've got to stop. I mean, I, I need to say that Charles Brousson was not only a political colleague, he was also a close friend. And he brought a human value to politics, which is something that's been sadly has been lacking. For me, it's, it's a special pleasure to have the support of his wife and his family, uh, and that's given me enormous strength during this campaign. We lost Charles Brousson halfway through, and we'll never be able to replace him. But Albert Diesel is the right man to fill that seat. But we have to move on. And if there's one thing that we owe to him more than anything else, is to ensure that we retain his seat. The GSD constitution in 2006 proposed 10 ministers and 7 opposition members. Today, there are 9 government ministers. You know, if we have to deliver our manifesto with 9 instead of with 10, of course it becomes harder. You can govern with 9, but can you deliver the most ambitious manifesto Gibraltar has ever seen with 9? People were tired of the GSD. We made a series of promises in a manifesto. We've now delivered more than 200 of them. We need Albert to help us deliver the rest. In my view, it's better to have ten hands working for the benefit of Gibraltar, for the benefit of our people, than have an extra voice in opposition. Gibraltar faces challenges on a regular basis. We all know that. Whether it's domestically or internationally, there are always people wanting to trip us up. It's important we stay strong, not with more voices in the opposition, but with ten pairs of hands working in government for you. And I need to have ten members of the government available so that Gibraltar's got the strongest government it can to face whatever challenge comes our way. Albert Isola is the only candidate in this by-election who will be a minister if he wins. The other candidates are standing as opposition candidates. They will never be ministers. They will not be in government. So we really need to vote for Albert to make sure the government team is strengthened by the addition of another pair of hands. When you're thinking about where you should place your trust in your vote at the by-election for the 4th of July. Think about what's best for our people. For me, it's, it's really quite a simple choice to make if you put, like we do, Gibraltar first. The opposition are so unhappy because the government is doing so well. In all the areas where we promise to make changes, we're delivering those changes. Just look at debt. It's down by a quarter already, and we're not even halfway through our parliamentary term. Look at the schools we're building, look at the flats we're building, the stuff that people need, the jobs that we're creating. All of that is on track. For us, it's not about large, illustrious projects. It's how you spend the money that is important. And that's why we've focused on areas such as social services, housing, employment, in looking after our people. That is where less money goes an awful lot further. We are a listening government. We hear, to, we hear what people have to say. We've opened up meetings of the Development and Planning Commission. Government projects now go before the DPC for guidance and for advice. And we listen to the DPC. So we listen to people and then we act. That is what consultation means. Engaging the people. At the end of the day, that's what all this is about. If we don't listen to the people that we're serving, how can we possibly improve or touch their lives? We have improved transparency and accountability and that is reflected in the way which Parliament now operates. Parliament has now met more times in 18 months than it used to meet under the GSD in a whole term of office. And this is why I urge you to vote for Albert Isola in order to help us to continue that good work. I've worked in the private sector for 30 years. I've been extremely successful. I'm not embarrassed of that, I'm proud of it. And it's that success and that skill and that energy that I bring to this government. We need to understand that in this by-election, Albert Isola is the only candidate who has experience of Parliament. That he has been there, he's done it before, and he's lived it. No other candidate has done that. He's got a proven track record. He's proved himself in business, he's proved himself in Parliament, and I can't think of anybody standing at this election who can bring something positive to Parliament more than Albert Isola. It's not about a change of government. The government stays, and will do, for another two and a half years. We were elected in the, at the end of 
2011 on the basis of change. We have, we, have, we have nine ministers now who are helping to deliver that change. We want Albert to be the tenth minister to help us to push that change forward. For me, the question of this by-election is, what's going to happen on the 5th of July? Where is that person who's elected going to be? It's a simple choice. You choose a worker in Albert Isola, or you choose a talker in one of the other candidates. The choice is clear and the choice is simple. I am the only candidate at this by-election that can be there on the 5th of July working for the people of Gibraltar. A strong government means a strong Gibraltar. A stronger government means an even stronger Gibraltar. And that's what Albert Isola will deliver. With Fabian and the rest of the ministers, I believe I can contribute positively to the work in delivering the change that was so supported in December 2011. That's my request to you. Support that and give me your vote. Thank you very much for listening.